Well, good Monday morning. Back here in uh, Hollidaysburg. We got a one day job. Well, it's a, according to Derek, we're supposed to be done by lunchtime, but I don't know. That's gonna be a stretch. Can't get any equipment in here, so everything's gonna be uh, wheelbarrow work. Oh my. Things are really fell over in here. But uh, I think I found the solution to the day here. I remembered that this was in here some Friday. We have an old uh, failing pond in here. I don't know when it was put in, but it's been a while. And uh, he's just done taking care of it. So has about a, oh, I don't know, a 15 foot stream on it. And he wants to keep the stream, just convert it to a pond. Let's morning. All right, ready for a big day? Sure. We're going to shut it down and pump out the water. And uh, Yep, do our thing. So yeah, we're gonna pump this out and yeah, put a basin in here. Put a pump bolt in here and fill that all in. Shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna bring our helicopter in here and land our excavator right here so we don't have to, we don't have to dig it by hand. That's good. It's gonna be here in about 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> but my plan is, CJ, to pump it out, then take this, this rock that's in this area, throw it over in there for fill, and then just top coat it with top sort of, and then cut out the liner here. I don't know, we might not, probably won't have to dig very much. I doubt it, no. We should square up the corners and um, I guess we're gonna have to run plumbing. If we put the vault over here, you can just find that plumbing, hook just it up to the into same it. pump. Alrighty, let's go do it. All right, so pleasant surprise of the morning. We don't get a new liner. I don't know if I didn't, yeah, I didn't understand Derek correctly. So what we ended up doing, uh, Derek went to fill in the whole pond. So I didn't really like that. So we pulled out our rock, filled it into here. Then I caught the liner and we pulled it up. So this won't be filled with water anymore. We can fill dirt in there and see that he wants to turn it into some grass. So it's pretty easy to do. So we took the existing liner, cut it down the middle, folded it up here, pulled out rock in there, put in our aqua blocks. This is where the vault, the pump's gonna go in there. Plumbing is gonna tie into the, uh, the existing plumbing. And then this will be the pond underground, basically. So this all gets filled in with gravel then. And that's our underground basin to run the stream. A lot less maintenance. The only thing that has water is gonna be the stream now. And this will be below, below grade. So, a little easier to care for. And we're just gonna fill that in with dirt. Seed it up. We got a little dirty, but it's looking good. I doubt we're gonna have it done by lunchtime though, so. Ah, you do what you have to. It's all gone, but it's lunchtime and basin's in. That all worked out pretty well. Still have to haul in a couple more tons of dirt and turn that into a flower bed and a yard. And then it's gonna be an early Monday. DJ, he's all ready for that. Then we can go to bed. He is sleepy. It was a rough weekend. Long week. And Just wanted all you folks to know that uh, all of DJ's exes live in Texas. <laughs> Here we go. It's all done. Uh, well, maybe a little over time, but I have to give it to Derek. He's a little closer than I thought. That is how you turn a pond into a pondless. What pond? What pond? What pond? 
So there we go. Hopefully this will be easier to take care of for them and they still get the sound of water and they're, they like to feed the birds and they like to have water for the birds all winter. And so they want to run this thing in the wintertime. So it should work out for them.